thing that I, I think is a good use for this product uh, is in the summertime. And in the summertime, what we have really from this arrow indicating the second and third generations, potentially a fourth generation, uh, nobody's ever really documented that. But uh, what we have is an overlap in stages. So if you have a product that has these sublethal effects on adults, can control eggs, can move translaminarily, obviously uh, we'll get some of uh, the larvae in the soil with the exception of the really large larvae. Uh, you know, that definitely has value in that July period. I do think, um, you know, because it has been such an effective product that we've seen, I've seen people make two applications, you know, a May application and a July application. I really, um, you know, everything that we know about resistance development, I really am cautious about making that sort of uh, approach. I'd like to give it more than just one generation break before we use it again. I really like it in the beginning of the season uh, where it's a heavier hammer uh, than many of our other uh, larvicides. Even though we don't have many larvicides, we do have some other effective ones uh, that we can rotate through or maybe use um, you know, your traditional approach in springtime and then a soprato in summer as that cleanup one. It's There's a lot more flexibility and there's a lot more rotational partners that we now have.